I'll make sure to let them know. Thanks, Eric. Well, let's hop on over to WFNY News 2's Amanda Ferguson, who's out with the Winston-Salem Dash. Amanda. We are getting ready for opening day here at Truist Stadium. The Dash taking the field here in about an hour. To, we're first, the first pitch is about an hour away from now. But right now, I'm with Jessica Aviard. She's the Vice President of Ballpark Experience. Jessica, tell us everything that fans can expect tonight when they come. Sure. So tonight is actually themed as American as it can be. Uh, we are celebrating all veterans. So we are here to celebrate all military branches. And that's really the goal for tonight's um, game. So a lot of American-themed skits. It's a lot of things that um, are kind of an ode to uh, the flag. So we are excited about all of those elements this evening. And you mentioned something about m merchandise, a new area that sure. people can shop at. So we um, have noticed over the years that we need something when it rains, which it does still happen in baseball. Um, so we put a secondary store behind home plate on the main concourse. So that is the new merch team store 2.0. So you can shop in two different locations in the ballpark now. How does it feel for you to have opening night and, and start this up again? Sure. So this is my 15th opening day in minor league baseball. So it always feels nice and calm until it gets almost close to those gates opening and then all of the nerves come back and it feels just like my first day all over again. And it's nice and quiet right now. You can see there's not a lot of fans here yet, but that's because the first pitch does not get underway until 7 o'clock tonight. We will be here for it and have that coming up for you on WFMI News 2 at 11.